How's it going guys? My name is Mega Miles and welcome to a new Let's Play called Virtuaverse. Uh, I'm super excited to play this. I've been debating on doing it for a few days. It's like, should I? Should I not? And I decided to. So I hope you're excited to go on this journey with us um, and give it a shot because it's like a retro pixelated game. But apparently the story is amazing and it's like a, a futuristic cyberpunk type of game which are always really neat to see people's interpretation of what the future would look like. Um, I actually watched The Fifth Element today and this game actually reminds me the, the soundtrack, the, the setting of Tron Legacy, which is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite movies of all time. So anyway, I'll stop talking. I want to get into it. Uh, so we're going to start our journey. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. It means so much. Thanks. Looks like we had a fun night. <laughs> Is that us, right? Holy God. <laughs> I would... Damn, did I just fall on my AVR headset? Oh, no. The lenses are shattered. That sucks. Wait. Where the hell is Jay? She's gone. What did I do wrong this time? <laughs> Women. I hope she's not mad at me again. I need to fix my AVR headset and call her. There's a smuggler downtown who sells spare hardware. All right. Is this our strange gizmo? Look at strange gizmo. Talk to it. This is like our, uh, our you know who over there. I don't want to say it because then she'll she'll want attention. You know what I mean? Uh, hi, Gizmo. Any messages for me? How are you today? Oh, oh, these are <laughs> these are our, our options. Uh, all right. We don't. What's the weather forecast? Looks like a chance of rain today. Rain tomorrow. Rain. <laughs> all right. So I feel like we should get out of here. Uh, I need to go stand by um, and just get to work. Gotta fix our AVR headset. Our character looks pretty badass, doesn't he? I wonder if um, throughout the game we don't see his face and then like at the end of the game we see his face. A dust covered mobo, straight out of my old 40, 486 DX. A game changer in early days of computing. All right, ultra glove. Ultra glove of a hacked ultra glove I built years ago. Equipped with movement sensors for the hand and fingers. This is so cool. It makes you want to like live in the future, you know? Because think about it with like Elon Musk and Neuralink. Just imagine, like, in, if that's successful. I have, oh, sorry guys, I gotta read. I gotta something code. Whatever. I'm sure it's not important. Oh shit, it probably was important. A new entry has been added. We'll figure it out later. You guys got to read it, I'm sure. Oh, that's so awesome. Those exist in real life. We're not... Pick up room. It's been a while since I've used it. <laughs> uh, is this a door? How do we leave? Do I need to use the elevator again? Do I need to select which way I go? I feel like someone was making a hoverboard in real life. Like, imagine how cool those would be. Oh, man. Balcony. Uh, can I click the arrow to the balcony? <laughs> there we go. There's a place downtown that should have the parts I need. Look at small buildings. Downtown buildings. I spent most of my childhood there. Alright. Look at Ad Drone. Aggressive marketing? Look at skyscrapers. They call it spa, but it's totally not. Use balcony keypad. Oh, this is gonna take us down. Oh, I need to reset the code. It should be written down somewhere. Oh. Oh, now I take the broom.
So what can we use the broom on? To knock something down? Maybe this vinyl? I feel like the vinyl or the poster. Look at this poster. It's it's tricking us. It's come unglued. So I bet if we use the broom to push back this part, we'll uh we'll reveal a code or something. Now what's this say? There's a code written on the corner of the poster. 15287. 15287. We got it. Here we go. I'll enter the code. Yeah! First puzzle solved, guys. An hour later. <laughs> Look at this pizza. I'm so hungry. Why is there food in this? Pizza Amore. Fusion Pizza Restaurant. Looks like one of my favorites, too. Pepperoni with basil. This person does not look that attractive. Just saying. Use bike. I used to have a motorcycle. That's like, hence the helmet back there. I fell off of it once. Oops. <laughs> it was weird. Cool hair, dude. Cool eyes, bro. Dude, everyone has funky eyes. Mmm, noodles. This is so cool. Yeah! <laughs> Some freaky looking babies with those eyes. This intro is so trippy. Virtua Verse. A new entry has been added to the journal. Press J. Oh, there's J for the, the journal. Alright, let's check out this terminal. Dating, yeah! Like how I, I, uh, <laughs> I clicked that first. Maybe some kind of identification card will work here. Ah. Alright, so. I feel like we don't really need Salty Salmon, Captain, Picky Gourmet. Let's do Picky Gourmet. This one looks tasty. There's a hidden camera somewhere. Ah. So, like, I feel like we don't need to buy any of that stuff yet. But we have our, our credit card if we need to. Alright, so, let's stick to the, the plan. We gotta go down the alley, probably, to, like, this one guy's spot. Dumpster. Let's check this out. I always check the dumpsters in video games. Hope it's just a couple of cats fighting for food. There's some... I'm afraid the animals fighting inside will bite me. Look at railway wall. Huge steel wall is blocking the, to the sub... Access to the subway rails. Alright. Back alley. Hey, man, what's up? Where's my mouse? This junk is not working! I'm sick and tired of it. Try to get another pair of glasses. What? Is, is that like a VR? Uh, was that a pair of AVR glasses? Yes, a disposable pair. Augmented virtual reality. It's my life. I see. Do you have something for me? Reality is driving me nuts. I need to jack in as soon as possible. Got a spare cartridge? I'm tired of the ones I have. I know them. Bite? Bite? Dump me some data. <laughs> what? Alright. So we're gonna examine this dumpster. Get, like, maybe a part from it. I have an all-you-can-take deal with the restaurant on that dumpster. Oh my gosh. So we gotta 
freaking give him something. Try to go into this restaurant, check it out. Oh, it's a sushi conveyor belt. This sounds absolutely disgusting with uh, headphones on. Like, I. It's like no one wants to hear smacking in their ears. Um. Oh, God, I really can't handle it. <laughs> Look, there's some sushi in the bowl over there. <laughs> As usual. Uh. Hey, did you just spit in the plate? As usual. <laughs> uh, what's new on the menu? As usual. Are you kidding me? This isn't funny. As usual. Can I put some shit in your nigiri? <laughs> As usual. What the hell? <laughs> Is there anything else you know how to say besides as usual? Sometimes. As usual. <laughs> what the hell? That's awesome. Okay. We gotta get out of here. There is way too much smacking in my ears and it's disgusting me. Seriously. Let's talk to the strange dude. I bet he knows the hookup. Or the plug as like the hipsters say. Who are you? I'm nobody. Nothing is real. Okay. What are you doing here? I'm helping people. Helping people? What do you mean? I sell dreams in AVR. Oh, that's cool. Life is hard, but one can still dream. So you're some sort of AVR pusher or something? Watch your mouth. What I sell here is entirely legal. I'm just helping people who can't access the optimized user experience. I bet your stuff will never be as good as the real thing. What's the matter with you, dude? Did you come here to insult me or what? Sorry, I didn't mean to sound rude. I'm just curious. I make a living selling hardware and software. So I'm genuinely interested in knowing. Ah, I understand. Well, I can't argue that my cartridges are comparable to the stuff in permanent reality, but I'm sourcing them from the right places. They are well-known side effect. There are well-known side effects, though. Side effects? What kind of side effects? We're using different ways to boost the experiences and get them as close to possible, as close as possible to the permanent reality ones. But those aren't the healthiest things to inject directly into your brain. Are you telling me it's, it isn't just software? Not at all. But hey, it's all legal. Mm-hmm, I'm not so sure. Don't give me that look. I can assure you it's all clean. Yeah, sure, thanks for the information anyway. All right, so. Do you know a place where I can fix my AVR headset? You may want to check the shop nearby. Just go back the way you came and turn right. Or maybe we'd talk to this guy now. Ah, my AVR headset is broken. Do you know anyone who can fix it? Maybe the guy in the shop around the corner can help you. But I would stay away from that old fart. Huh. Okay, yeah, it's this back street that we need to go explore. Oh god, this guy looks creepy. A bouncer. Talk to the bouncer. He is guarding the door. I'm looking for hardware components. You're in the wrong place, move along. What are you talking about? I've been here before. You must be confused, this is private property. And you can't enter. I swear, I've been here before, but it was a long time ago. I've only been working here for a few months. And I have clear orders from my boss not to let anyone inside. Unless they're one of our trusted clients. Uh, What's with the Japanese signs? What do you mean? Mm. I really need to get inside. Let's see. <laughs> no way, punk. You ain't coming in. My shift's almost over and I don't want any trouble. I need to go back home and eat something. Not wasting my time with you. Never mind. I wonder if we can get him some food then. You think that'll do the trick? Let's get... Let... We'll do the picky gourmet. We'll use the credit card. Thank you for your order. Please select your... Oh, Chestnut Street 1. There we go. It's all making sense. Alright. Please wait for the drone at the address. Okay. Can we do the same, like, thing with the chicks? <laughs> We're gonna totally do that in a minute. Oh man, that like, does a drone bring us like the hot chick? Hey, 
Beep boop, your pizza will be delivered immediately. <laughs> Beep. <laughs> All right, let's go grab the pizza and hopefully this guy hooks us up and lets us in. Pizza delivery, your unit has arrived. I didn't order anything. Maybe the boss inside did. Follow me. Yes, sir. Hey, it worked out in one way or another. All right, so now we can go inside the shop. We are pleased to have a new customer at Pizza Amore. Beep boop. <laughs> the best semi-organic pizza in the city. I didn't order any pizza. Why'd you let this drone in, idiot? Sorry, chief, but I haven't eaten all day, and I was hoping for something to eat. You are this and this thing are leaving right now. Hey, come over here immediately. What are you doing here? It's me. I was just looking for hot dogs. So we have a stranger slipping into the shop? You can't stay here. Why? Only certain people are allowed. What do you mean by allowed? This is no place for noobs, kid. We only have advanced a equipment for AVR engineers. Do you even know what I'm talking about? Let me prove it. I can hack your terminal in seconds. <laughs> Nowadays, even kids can do that too. Ah, oh, dang it. We got kicked out, guys. Right, I feel like we gotta talk to the smuggler again. Show me what you got. You said dreams and AVR. Yeah, let me check what I got. I have some 16 kilobyte heavy tr heavenly trips and cartridges. They're electrochemical devices based on next gen hardware. Pimped with some spicy chemicals. How much for one? Not gonna happen. I don't accept money from strangers. Who do you think I am? A drug dealer? Well, kind of. I can trade one cartridge for some replacement ingredients. Like what? Fast acting boosters. The kind you can find in most medicines around these days. Ah, okay. So we've got some medicine. So... If we give this guy the meds... I have these stimulators. Let me check. I can give you a 16 kilobyte cartridge for this. What's that? This baby will guarantee you a very intense AVR trip top notch. Can't wait to try it then. Don't push it too much, dude. Alright, so we're gonna give that to the beggar, dude. And then we should be able to get some of those parts out of the garbage. Do you need an extra cartridge? Here you go, bro. Thank you. I'll put it here with the others. <laughs> He's got like a full stack of them. Alright, I swear. Let's go on another trip. There he goes. All right, so he's distracted now. The cartridge, this cartridge is crap. Heavenly my ass. What? Really? So that didn't even work? What? Great. So now what? Do you have a more powerful cartridge? I can give you a four gil gigabyte dope cartridge. It just arrived today, but the best is only for the best. I can give you one, but I need some spice. What do you mean by spice? Trace activators needed for trainer synthesis. Trainer? Yeah, substance that boosts emotion and AVR. The drugstore over there smuggles some in sometimes. He used to smuggle them with me, but now I'm banned. Ah, okay. So, let's go talk to this guy. We'll get somewhere eventually. I need some tracer activators. I don't have any. Come on, I know you have some. Maybe, but I won't sell anything to you. Besides, I'm just having my lunch break now, so you better stop pestering me. Fuck! Now what? Hey! I just figured it out. Fiona. Dang, girl. Um, let's see who else. I like Vivi. Vivi seems hot. I got a special place in my heart for the punk rock chicks. Except ones that are like too punky. Fiona seems like she might get annoying though. I don't like smoking. Oh, I didn't even realize she was smoking. 
My bad. Partner is offline. Thank God. I don't want to look at her anyway. Natty looks cute. A goth girl. She has to be online. Ah, uh, yeah. She is. Have a nice chat. Hello, what's up? Hello, I'm Natty. And you? I'm Nathan. What a coincidence. <laughs> is that your real name? Interesting. Um, yes. Not really. That's my nickname. I see. Tell me more about yourself. Don't you hate when people do that? They send like two messages, like in an incomplete sentence. sentence. Hey, I'm sorry, but I have to go now. You've had enough of this already. <laughs> Dang it. So, what's the point of this then? Alright, so let's talk to Natty again. Not again. Oh, just kidding. Um, what if we talk to Sam? Let's see if I can get some info about him. Oh! Your partner is online. Hi there, what's up? Not much, I'm at work. Where do you work? In a designer drugstore. Sorry, but I, I really don't know much about that. Don't worry, I was just checking out your profile. Your photo is cool. Are you in a band? Yes, I had a band, but now it's over along with my relationship. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear. I know the struggle. Why are you single? No, I'm married, but I always feel lonely. I guess that's why we're on this dating service in the first place. I guess you're right. Do you want to meet? I mean, for real. Sure, why not? I'd love to meet you. That was easy. Of course, when you're a hot chick. I have a feeling this is wrong, but I don't care. <laughs> I don't care either. You only live once. Where do you want to meet? Meet me at my home address. Tomorrow at 11 a.m. My wife won't be around. The address is 14 Newport Street. Okay, meet you there tomorrow. Got him. I have to find a way to save this chat. If he doesn't want to sell me the tracer activ activators, I can totally blackmail him. Okay, so how do we print it? Use print screenshot. We're making progress, so now we can blackmail him. Uh, got a screenshot proving he's cheating on his wife. This should be enough to motivate him a bit. Let's get out of here now. Awesome! We're finally making progress. It took me like six hours. Jeez, the things I do for you guys. The things I do. You better leave a like. That's the least you could do for me. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna use the screenshot on this guy. Is that you? <laughs> hey, where'd you get this? A friend of mine gave it to me. Looks like someone here is married, but on dating sites. Damn you. I just need the tracer activators. Okay, you got me. I'll sell them to you, but you have to pay me in cash. All right. Please just give me that screenshot. No way. We'll make a deal later. So we got to figure out... Oh, we got to go use the other terminal to get the cash. It's all making sense now, guys. It's all making sense. We're making so much progress. I feel so accomplished. For a while there, I was like, holy crap. I'm not figuring this out at all. I got your money. Here's the cash. Now give me my tracer activators. Destroy the screenshot. Deal. All right. We did it. High five. Now we're going to go get this thing. And I swear, if this guy doesn't go on a great trip and let us in the trash, like, I'm going to be so pissed off. Here's the cartridge. All right. Here we go. So let's go give it to him. Okay. We're gonna give the cartridge to him. And he's probably gonna like fall over. I don't want another crap cartridge. Damn, I'll have to find a way to make him use this cartridge. Oh my gosh. We'll put it on the stack of his cartridges. Hands off my cartridges. What? What the hell? I thought we had it freaking figured out entirely. 
Oh my god. You think we like just throw it away? This one deserves a better ending. <laughs> How, how do we do this? What's the trick here? I'm so freaking confused now. I'm using the bike just to see. Just to see if going back home progresses our story. Like if we have to go back home to get something done. Oh, what's that? A jumper fell on the floor. What is that? What's a jumper? I have no jumpable parts? Fuck. Doesn't make sense. I don't know what a jumper is. Oh, we can pick up the glove. It was improving... I was improving the driver some day days ago let's see if it's still working yeah it's working nicely so what the heck does that do all right let's see if we can use the glove of power on the on the oh my gosh but I am one I've hacked and I have a hacked ultra glove here to prove it interesting show me Aha! Okay, it's working out. Okay, you and this machine. Leave. I need to talk to this man. <laughs> sure, boss. I'll leave you alone. See you tomorrow. No, you are fired. Fired! <laughs> but boss... Fired! Don't forget to rate us. Beep! <laughs> ah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, tell me more about this device. The Ultra Glove of Power is a hack I did some time ago. It can be used as a controller for various devices. It features some sensors that can detect your hand movements, as well as an arm acceleration and pose. Or as well as arm acceleration and pose. Okay, kid. Got it. You can stick around then. Thanks. Awesome! Can we buy that hologram guy? That hologram guy looks really cool. I want to buy this. 85. All right. We're buying everything. <laughs> All right. What about these glasses? Neon goggles. I want to wear those. There you go. Is that going to go through? It's a unique piece. The transaction was rejected. Oh, great. Are we going to have to look at data disks? Don't touch those. How did you know I was about to? I sensed it. <laughs> this is getting really strange. Can you repair my AVR headset? Maybe. What happened? I fell on it. My house was on fire and I accidentally broke on it. I was playing a video game and I accidentally broke it. I was hacking into a bank account and I accidentally broke it. <laughs> so we're telling lies all the way around. Um, let's say we were, we were playing a video game. Do you have it here? Sure. Here it is. The lenses are broken and the battery is gone. You'll need those two things to fix it. Okay, so at least we know. Okay, new screwdriver kit right here. As usual, none of the screwdrivers will work here? Every time I feel like we figured something out. Oh man. Guys, I have no idea what to do. <laughs> We're gonna figure it out, but that's all I'm gonna do for this episode So I hope you enjoyed this one if you did leave that like comment share and subscribe Consider becoming a Mega Miles member to support me and the content that I'm making since we're a small channel It's like a few dollars a month You can pick your tier and you get like a little cool Mega Miles thing next to your name when you leave comments and stuff So uh do all that jazz guys either way. I'll see you in the next one